Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Throwback. Now, you may not have noticed, but we missed last week's episode because we were pushing out a mod update on my upcoming mod project. But now we're back on track and taking a look at a mod that was recommended on the last episode of Mod Throwback. And that is going to be the Wildy Survivor Magnum by Tactagool. Now, before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you would like to suggest an idea for the next episode of Mod Throwback, leave an idea in the comments below and it'll be considered for the next week. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this here Wilty Survivor. This is an absolutely a monstrous pistol. I mean, absolutely huge. It just happened that this was during the time where I hadn't been into Fallout modding for a little bit, and so I missed this one's release. So taking a look at it this time was actually a first time looking at it at all for me and it was really enjoyable. This thing is super cool. Definitely gives the power that should be attributed to a wieldy. This thing is chambered in its own ammo type, which is 475 wieldy. However, it can be rechambered into 44 or into 45 caliber. That being said, rechambering into those ammo types is going to actually make you do less damage, but the ammo will be more common, as the 475 wieldy will actually need to be crafted at a chemistry station using 308 rounds to convert. If you want to get your hands on one of these beautiful pistols, you will actually find it in the leveled list. They are a pretty rare spawn, but you will find them out in the world as well as on vendors sometime after level 20. This weapon does come complete with custom sounds and animations, which we will show off in just a little bit, as well as a bunch of really cool and unique attachments. Some stuff I've never seen on any other weapon mods yet, so I'm really excited to take a look at this thing. Let's go ahead and stop talking and jump in game to see what exactly this weapon mod has to offer. For starters, let's get a look at these beautiful animations, because that's what everybody is here to see. As you can see, we have custom animations, not only for firing, but also reloading, and also some custom sounds. So I'll let you take a look and listen really quick. What a mighty heavy pistol. You can really feel the power behind this thing. But that's not all. There's actually an optional file that will give you one-handed animations if you feel brave and strong enough. Here we are with the one-handed animations. Give you another look and listen and see how these things function as well. Pretty much everything is the same there except for how you hold it idly when you're hip firing so it's really just down to preference one thing i really like to talk about is sights this thing has some very beautiful iron sights however it has some really interesting scope options as well for example we have this here scope that you can acquire when you have a long barrel and it actually has built-in see-through scope functionality so that one is pretty neat but also there is an additional scope which is actually a laser sight with a nice little iron sight built into the top of this thing very interesting and definitely old school and fitting of the era and definitely fitting of the Fallout style. We'll get more into the attachments though later on. First, we gotta talk about stats. Here we have the Wildy in all of its glory and its base stats are as follows, keeping in mind that I have no pistol perks, so this is what it's gonna look like the first time you pick it up. It has a damage of 83, shoots 475 Wildy, has a fire rate of only six, a range of 131, an accuracy of 62, a weight of 3.9 pounds, and a value of 995 caps, as this thing is actually pretty rare. It is added to the leveled list, but you're not going to find it that often. Now there are a handful of interesting receivers that you can grab as well that are locked behind different perk requirements. Here we have the one that will give you the maximum damage, just to give you a kind of stark contrast compared to the other one. It has a damage of 218 as well as an additional 10 incendiary damage, a fire rate of 6, range of 77, accuracy of 71, weight of 3.5 pounds, and a value of 4,477 caps. Now the range and accuracy will vary because of the parts that I have equipped here, but the real important part there is that maximum damage, as well as the value in caps that you get from these attachments. Really, really cool things here, and we'll go ahead and check more in the attachments menu. All right, here we are in the weapons workbench where we can see a couple of templates I've already made up for this beautiful pistol, and I'll show you how to make all of these right now. So starting with our receivers, you have your standard receiver, which is chambered in a 475 wieldy. Then you have a lightweight, heavy, tuned, calibrated, calibrated, powerful, hardened, powerful, and advanced. 
But then we also have a few interesting options. We have the 45 caliber, which is going to bring the damage down, but bring it into a more common ammo type. The Death Wish Receiver, as well as the Overkill Receiver, which will require Gunslinger and Bloody Mess, respectively. These are going to increase your damage output a good bit. And then the 44 caliber Receiver as well, which is sort of a middle ground between damage and the rarity of the ammo type. Pretty interesting stuff. For barrels, we have the Snub Nose Barrel, the Short Barrel, the Medium Barrel, and the Long Barrel. For grips, we have the Bakelite Grip, the Wood Grip, Aluminum, Pearl, the Badass Grip, which is the Breach Doctrine right there. Little shout out to Al Chess Breach. And then the Sexy Grip, which requires the Lady Killer and Penetrator perks. Because of course it does. For magazines, we have Standard and Quick Eject. For muzzles, we have No Muzzle and Muzzle Break. And then finally, we have a finish of Brush Stainless Steel or Engraved. Now, in order to get your scopes, you're actually going to need to increase your barrel length. So we're going to put that up to a long barrel. And then here you see we have a scope option now. So you can choose Iron Sights, the Short Scope, or the Helium Neon Laser Tube Scope. Now there is something I was actually wrong about when we were mentioning the stats of this weapon. I said that the max damage was 218, that's actually not true because the barrels will increase your damage as well. So if we bring this up to a long barrel, we actually get to 248. Pretty interesting stuff there. It's also important to note that that incendiary damage was coming from the snub nose barrel. Alright, so now we are on to the testing section of the video. We're going to run this pistol through three different tests. Starting with the 45 caliber ammo type, I want to give the lowest damage ammo a shot with the longest barrel just to see how it keeps up with the regular ammo types. Then we'll move on to a very standard version of the Wildy with the standard receiver and barrel. And then we will move on to that Death Wish barrel, which is absolutely a monster and see how it performs. So let's start on the very left with that 45 caliber ammo type, taking shots at the chest of a Deathclaw as our standard. Notice the recoil is way lower with that 45 caliber. Pretty interesting. All right, looking pretty good. Only took six shots. Not bad. It's just the fire rate that really kills you. Let's see how we do with 475 Wildy. You'll see that long barrel really went a long way for the 45 caliber, as we ended up using the same amount of bullets, and that one definitely had less recoil, it's going to be more controllable. Pretty interesting. Now before we move on to this Death Wish receiver, I want to note the difference in recoil here. Here's the regular Wildy. It's pretty big. Here's the Death Wish. <laughs> it literally sends you into the sky, so that's just something to keep in mind. All right, let's see how this guy does on a fresh mag. Let's do it. Well, the recoil doesn't pose much of a threat whenever it only takes two shots to put down a Deathclaw. Again, this is with no pistol perks. If you had maxed out pistol perks, he's going down with just one bullet. This is definitely intended to be a late game pistol. And with that, we bring this video to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to try out this mod yourself, it will be linked in the description as always. And this thing is available for not only PC, but Xbox as well. If there's a particular mod that has come out sometime in the past and you want to take a look at it in another mod throwback, drop a comment below for any mods that you'd like to see in future episodes. Don't forget to go out there and support the mod author if you enjoyed the mod. Endorse it, donate if that's something you're able to do, but most of all, just show your appreciation for all of their hard work. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you.